Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. So I like it saying 2020. Visually, when I look at it, this all kind of makes sense to me. So I'm just going to click on convert. It asks me what I want to call it. Um, I will just call it 11 because it's my November statement. If I'm converting a bunch of stuff, I do that to make it easy for me to find it later. It's not that you have to change it to the number 11. So let me pull over my QuickBooks file. So it's opening slowly. This is my sample QuickBooks online account. I want to upload the file I just created to my QuickBooks. So let's first make an account if we haven't already. If you've already made an account, you can fast forward through this part. I'm going to go to Accounting and then Chart of Accounts. I'm going to make a credit card. We're going to call it B of A Bank to QBO Demo. You would obviously give it a better name than that. Save and close. So now I'm going to click on Banking on the left-hand side of my screen. In the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to click the drop-down to the right of Link Account. I'm going to say Upload from File. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on Browse because I want to grab the file I just created. So I'll click on Browse. It takes me to my Downloads. I find my QBO file and then I click on Open. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click Next in the lower right hand corner. It says it's uploaded this credit card and then where does this go? And this goes to B of A, Bank to QBO Demo. So maybe you give yours a different name like Bank America, Alaska Airlines Visa, whatever the case is. Alright, so I select the bank account that I'm linking to and then I click Next in the lower right hand corner. It says this is different during a previous upload. That's totally fine. You're not going to get this message. This warning message happens because I've been uploading this in various ways to create various demo files. So click next. We wait for just a moment for it to think. It says congratulations. Everything has been entered. Next step is for you as the human to accept your transactions. So let's click on let's go in the lower right hand corner. I have a whole pile of accounts connected here. I'm just going to scroll until I find the one I just created. Here's the one I've created, and here's the transactions that I saw in my statement. From here, you'll add or transfer. You'll do all the things that you would normally do with your banking. If you're not sure what to do, I do have a tutorial series on getting started with QuickBooks Online on this YouTube channel. Again, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, or if you have other topics you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments box. Thank you so much.